Kid Rock, like Dwayne Rock Johnson, is the son of a wealthy businessman in Michigan. And he's playing to be a redneck. He's on TV pretending that he's pissed off about those companies who don't support Trump or that are woke. And then he shows up on TV with a Budweiser hat and he says, oh, shit, because he realized he's busted. Now I see you're wearing a is that a Budweiser hat? Like, wasn't it, it was a year ago, right, that you famously posted that video of, uh, I think you were shooting some uh, Bud Light cans um, after the Dylan Mulvaney controversy. So you've lightened up on Bud Light? I think The Rock, yes, he's promoting stuff, but did get a lesson in you can alienate people when you put a perspective out there like that. He's a smart businessman. Uh, but we don't know how he's voting. He could very well vote for Joe Biden again. He's just not going to talk about it. And I thought that that was an interesting undercurrent. There are a few things we should acknowledge and a few things we have to talk about when we talk about Rock's decision to not endorse Joe Biden because of the division or how people came at him. What he's basically saying is Rock is making a decision to be quiet about his political point of view because he doesn't want to risk his dollars. He's choosing money over conscious. Why does it make me so sick to my stomach? Well, it's easy because Rock is born the son of a black wrestler who was discriminated against. And Rock acted like his father means so much to him and his dad's legacy and what his dad did to prepare the world for black wrestlers and also black athletes. Yet and still, he'll turn his back because he's afraid of what his white racist fans might say. Because the quiet part left out isn't that black people were offended by Rock's decision. It is white racist people that might watch a movie with him in it. So this, in some ways, him spitting in his dad's face, cursing his dad's legacy. A person who was actually named Soul Man. Where's your soul, man? I must ask Dwayne The Rock Johnson that. How in one generation generation are we so willing to turn our back on what so many people fought for in this case his father just so we can be seen as equal to our white counterparts and once we arrive as rock has we can no longer hold on to the idea that justice is designed and should be a part of our people's existence no we must sell our soul to be accepted not to piss off racist white people Dwayne the rock johnson and all his muscles are embarrassing to say it in a nice way embarrassing not just to me and other black people who stand in the fire, who are willing to put themselves on in the gap. No, but to his father, who he proclaimed to love so much. A man who took his life in the 50s and 60s and dealt with all the racism throughout the South as a pro wrestler. A man who inspired so many. And this is his son, who's made so much money, who has a platform larger than anybody damn near, and he's not willing to stand up for his political beliefs. This is the degradation of generations when money is involved. So Rock Dwayne the Rock Johnson being quiet on politics about equity and inclusion and supporting a candidate that are more for those things than Donald Trump is in some way giving a pass to smaller rocks like Dirty Kid Rock who has no moral compass. This is a cool hat. I don't know. Um... So what I say is to hell with both of the rocks, Kid Rock and Dwayne The Rock Johnson, because both of them are spineless and playing on people's lower self. I'm Mundell Robinson. Just throw the damn rocks away.